The Dragonite can tank in Dragon form or not. It can also hit hard even if it's not in Dragon form. Of course, this Dragonite excels when in Dragon form. It is a very mobile dragon as it has demonic charge at his disposal. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here and in this video, I'm going to share with you my updated Dragon Knight build. As usual, this is not an overpowered build but a thematic one. This build follows the Demon Mythic Path. The main feature for this build are First, this character can transform into a powerful dragon. Compared to my old build, he is not great when he turns into a dragon. This time, I made it so that when he transforms into a dragon, he becomes overpowered. Second, earlier dragon transformation. The old build transformed into a dragon only on Act 4. This time, I made it so that at early part of Act 3, this Dragonite can already transform into a dragon. Although Blood Ragers are only limited to Dragon Kind 2, the demonic aspect helped the characters increase its strength and constitution, damage rolls, and attack rolls. Lastly, at Act 5, this dragon becomes a draining level machine. At every hit, the character can potentially deduct the enemy's level. This is a multi-class build with 13 levels of Blood Rager, with Steel Blood Archetype, and 7 levels of Dragon Disciple. For the build proper, so we choose first the Blood Rager with Steel Blood Archetype. Like a knight, our Dragon Knight should be able to wear heavy armor. I would want my Dragon Knight to be human for an extra feat. For the background and for role-playing purposes, I would like this Dragon Knight to be a leader. Besides that, I was thinking of letting him wield a great sword. Again, for role-playing purposes. However, if you want, you can let it wield a great axe because there is a very powerful great axe in the game. If so, choose Lumberjack as a background. It does not really matter anyway as once he is able to transform into a dragon, he would not be wielding a weapon most of the time. For this stat, I still dump Intelligence and Wisdom up to 7, put 19 on Strength, 16 on Dexterity, 14 on Constitution, and 14 on Charisma. For the skill points, make sure to put at least 5 ranks on Knowledge Arcana by level 5 so that we can multi-class to Dragon Disciple once we get to level 6. Since I would want him to have Dreadful Carnage later in the game, investing on Persuasion skill is great for this character. For the character feat, get Toughness and Dodge, and for your Bloodline, get any kind of dragon you want. But as for my case, I choose the Red Dragon. For the deity, you can choose any as long as you will be able to choose Chaotic Evil and as for my case, I choose Garo. At second level, the Dragon Knight gains Armored Swiftness, where in the Blood Rager, moves 5 feet faster than normal in medium and heavy armor. At third level, he gains Blood Sanctuary and choose Combat Reflexes for the character level feat. At fourth level, he gains Claws and Draconic Resistance 1. Draconic resistance increases your resistance against your energy type by 5 and natural armor bonus by 1. This increases at 8th and 16th level. At 5th level, he gains armor training. When wearing armor, he reduces the armor check penalty by 1 and increases the maximum dexterity bonus allowed by his armor by 1. Then for the character level feat, choose outflank. At 6th level, he multiclass to the Dragon Disciple up to character level 12. Get power attack for the Dragon Bloodline bonus feat. You get another plus 1 to your natural armor bonus to your armor class. For Mythic Rank 1, get close to the Abyss and then Limitless Rage for the Mythic ability. At 7th level, for the Bloodline feat, choose Improved Initiative. And since by this time he has Bite Attack, choose Weapon Focus Bite for the character level feat. For Mythic Rank 2, get Dodge Mythic. At 9th level, pick up Cleave for the Bloodline bonus feat, then Dazzling Display for the character level feat. At Mythic Rank 3, choose the Demon Mythic Path, then Brutality Incarnate for the Mythic ability. With this ability, your Bite Attack can bypass damage reduction. Something to note, Demonic Rage stacks with Blood Rage or Rage ability. At 10th level, get Blind Sight for the Bloodline bonus feat. At 11th level, pick up Shutter Defenses for the character level feat. 
Then, for Mythic Rank 4, get Master Shapeshifter. This ability would increase your physical attributes by plus 4 when you transform into a dragon. For the Demonic Aspect, pick up Aspect of the Clavicus to mitigate with your AC penalty when you rage. Aspect of the Clavicus increases your natural armor by 2 when your Dragon Knight go for a Demonic Rage. This bonus increases as you progress in your Mythic level. At 12th level, you get your last level of Dragon Disciple. You gain Dragon Form at least once a day for 10 minutes, which is good enough for a short adventure. For your Bloodline bonus feat, pick up Intimidating Prowess. At 13th level, you go back to the Blood Rager class. Then get Dreadful Carnage for the character level feat. For Mythic Rank 5, get Last Stand. Then get Aspect of Skier for the plus 2 melee attack roll bonus, Aspect of the Vavakia for the strength bonus, and Aspect of Baylor for the constitution bonus. At 15th level, take Great Fortitude for the Bloodline feat. Then Claiming Finish for the character level feat. Then for the Mythic Rank 6, take up Improved Initiative then Aspect of the Incubus for a bonus on Persuasion skill. For Mythic Rank 7, get Archmage Armor. Then Aspect of Rolikai to apply negative level when you hit your enemy, and Aspect of Babao for sneak attack damage. Then on 17th level, take Shake It Off for the character level feat. Then for Mythic Rank 8, take Unrelenting Assault and Aspect of Brimorak. At 18th level, the Dragon Knight gains Greater Blood Rage. Then on Mythic Rank 9, get Ever Ready for the Mythic Ability. Then Aspect of Nabasu and Aspect of Pazuzu for the Demonic Aspect. Aspect of Pazuzu gives you an additional attack that stacks with a Haste spell. At 19th level, get Weapon Focus Claw for the Character Level Feat. As for the spells, I suggest to get spells that buffs your party or character as this Dragon Knight is pretty much focused on melee combat in Dragon Form. The Dragon Knight can tank in Dragon Form or not. It can also hit hard even if it's not in Dragon Form. Of course, this Dragon Knight excels when in Dragon Form. It is a very mobile dragon as it has demonic charge at his disposal. It can attack 8 times per round and in every hit, it deals massive damage plus a negative level. I play this on core difficulty. I hope you find the video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like to let me know. And if you want more Pathfinder Rod of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!